Hi everybody, Laura here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm excited to be a part of the Ulta News April Marvelous Monthly Series Video Hop. And I have a super cheery, one layer wonder, colorful birthday project to share with you. I'm gonna be featuring the new Dynamic Duo Treat Yourself Layering Stencil Set along with the Dynamic Duo Treat Yourself Sentiment Set. Okay, I love a good stencil. You know how I like to blend it up. This one, has a balloon and it's got these letters that you can layer together to spell happy birthday and the packaging has a little insert a little book you can open it up and it shows you how to put the layering stencil together shows you what to do with the balloons there's extra floral layering another thing i just got in the mail the other day side note i got the new all i don't know if it's new but it's new to me the new all to new scoreboard and i love it it was nice to have, I had an old, old ancient one, probably 15 years old, an old Martha Stewart one. So I upgraded to the Alta New, and I got to say, it's mighty fine. I am using a Teflon bone folder and some Nina Solar White 110 pound. Like I said, this is going to be a one layer wonder. So you can layer these grouping of letters together to spell out happy birthday. I'm going to start with the second grouping. Uh, I wasn't sure if I was going to get this centered. You know, you're kind of guessing at first. Uh, probably if I did this again, I might work on a panel that I could trim and put on a card base because, you know, you never know if you're going to get it centered. But it turned out good enough. Good enough. Uh, so now this could be very simple or you can make it more complex. I like to make things as hard as can be. So I'm doing every letter a different color. But you don't have to do that. You could just do all this grouping of letter letters in one color, shimmy down the second grouping of letters, do it in another color, and it would be lickety split. But I knew I wanted to do something with rainbow. And I'm doing uh, every letter a different color using all Alta New inks. And they do have a bajillion to choose from. And I also, side note, just recently, Brienne Loveland, the lovely Brienne, sent me a couple of the Alta New ink stands. I didn't have those. And so they hold my Alta New inks. And I also, I'll show you in a minute, she sent me the one that holds the Alta New round ink pads. And that was very, very exciting. So I'll have all the colors that I'm using here. I'll have them linked below because I haven't even mentioned a color yet. What is this one even called? Star Starlight? Look at this new ink stand that holds the round ink pads. I love that. And this color here is called Alpine, what's it say? Alpine Aster. It's kind of a, I would call it a periwinkle. It's in between a purple and a blue. I love that shade. So you do kind of have to think ahead. If you want to go on rainbow order, you got to think. Okay, what color is that A and that P? The red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I gotta think what color I'm gonna do these letters. I didn't get it perfect, but I did it good enough. Okay, around in and out with Pink Alicious, one of my favorite pinks in all the land. Okay, lift off that stencil and it looks so good. And then I'm not even gonna clean the stencil. I'm just gonna shimmy it down and nestle in that next grouping of letters. And it locks in there, snug as a bug in a rug. And uh, for the most part, I got it pretty centered. It's not perfect, but I wasn't going to start over. Okay, so um, like I said, working my way through the Alta New Rainbow. One of my favorite reds is this Heartbeat. Alta New has this ink color called Heartbeat. And I think it's just a fabulous red. I'm picky about colors and Heartbeat is... now. I didn't mention, but I am going a little bit heavier handed down at the bottom of the letters, slightly heavier handed. So it's got that touch of gradient love, little dab will do. Um, you certainly don't have to make this so complicated. Now here I did two shades of green. I think the first shade was bamboo and I needed an extra green. So I did just green, just like a classic Kelly green. And then what is this called? Mountain mist. It's a very subtle, aqua shade and um like i said alta new has so many colors to choose from it's like a wonderland and th this is my problem and i was just talking about this with my husband i have got to come up with a better solution for my ink storage i need that's my number one ink storage i gotta come up with a solution because i do love all the inks from all the brands and i use them i just need a 
better way to store them. I don't have a lot of wall space to do the old, you know, everybody's got those ink cubbies they hold, hang on the wall. I, I have a lot of windows, so I don't have room for the ink cubbies. I gotta find a solution. Okay, I had a little extra room on the right, so I thought, exclamation point it is. And I slipped in a little olive exclamation point right over there, and that helped me out because I wasn't quite centered. And now for the fun part, if you ask me, the balloon. And I am just going to, again, use the same colors. I'm not really being very precise here. I just go willy-nilly. And I go around. And I do the, the balloons a little bit lighter. And so when they overlap, you see that beautiful translucency. That's one of my favorite things about balloons, especially blending balloons. Here's that heartbeat overlapping with that. What was that pink color? I think it was pink pearl. And it just looks so good. Here for the orange... I don't know why, but I have little mini ink cubes for my orange. Well, this is orange cream. And uh, then citrus burst, and I'm working my way. And uh, th is it a lot of color? You bet your bottom dollar. I was thinking maybe it's too much, but can it be too much? I mean, can it ever really be too much? I mean, this is the party that I would like to have right here. And I can't tell you how long it's been since I have made a one like a true one layer wonder truly and it's liberating it felt refreshing i need to do more of it it's kind of um i've been doing you know the old dimension is life i've been kicking that in the can for so many years it's kind of nice to just do a one layer feels good simple and easy to mail okay last balloon here with pink alicious and i'm going to stop there you could add more you could do some at the top too what I'm going to do is take the Dynamic Duo Treat Yourself Sentiment stamp set and they have these little, what do you call them, counters? The little things that go in the letters, like that go in the A and the P and the B. And I'm going to stamp those. This is optional. You don't have to. It looks good without it, but it looks great with it. So I'm going to stamp these colors with the same color that I blended with. So it gives a bit of tone on tone. You could also stamp it in black. Um, a lot of different variations you could do on this. So I'm just going through, stamping, I think they're called counters. Generally, I call them innards. You can call them innards. You can call them counters. You can, go, you can call them thingamajiggers, whatever you want. But okay, so working my way. And uh, I love that the stamp set included that as an option. And there's also a few little coordinating sentiments, little sub-sentiments that you can add, which I will stamp one below the birthday when I'm finished with this too as well. And a couple little uh, extra little doodads in the stamp set, little, I don't know if they're flower centers or little bursty doodads that I'll stamp up at the top just because I felt like it needed a little, a little something, something. Uh, see this on the stamp set? Little cluster of dots. Might be for the center of a flower, but I stamped a few up there and uh, this card is finished. A true one layer wonder colorful rainbow out the wazoo birthday project featuring the dynamic duo treat yourself make sure and check out the rest of the video hop with all to new thank you so much for joining me have a wonderful day and i will see you next time